Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Scoble. I am with the UK Chili Queen. Hi, I'm here. I can't believe it. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is Chase D. We're going to, uh, we were just on a little bit earlier, a little banter, kind of getting ready for this uh, contest, mm -hmm. which we're very excited for. We have some really cool uh, products that I thought we'd review together. Um, and she was agreeable. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for being here. Now, being here, you come all the way here. This is like, you know, as we're both here. So. Oh. Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you. All right. So, what are we gonna do first here? Cool. You want to? Uh, what do you want to start um, first? I reckon. Want to start with this one? Yeah. All right. Erica Seitz, good friend of ours in the chili community, and she has created this. Um, it's mother of peppers, green. It, uh, green is the grass. There's the label on this. I'm kind of standing back a little far, so I can't see all the comments. But thank you guys for joining us. I do see Jeremy. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you guys for joining in. Share this around, you guys, and see if we get a lot of people watching. Um, now, mm -hmm. Erica sent this for us to review together. Oh, she's so kind. She's actually sent us two, so we'll do that one first. We have a couple. She sent one for you that I have reviewed already. Yeah, so that's thank right. you, Erica. You're very Thanks, kind. Erica. But this one, the first one is going to be Green is the Grass. I can't see very well. Here we go. Uh, mangoes. You know what? Are your eyes good? No, actually, I'm pretty bad with them um, without my glasses. Okay, let me, let me see if I can win. Uh, oh, here we go. Mango. Isn't that terrible? Like, it's all gone. I can't <laughs> see. My eyes are down. Oh, I'm uh, the same without my glasses. Mango, onions, peppers, uh, MOV, uh, chilies, MOV, balsamic, apple cider vinegar. Sugar, salt, garlic, spices, and citrus. Johnny, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm a big, you know what? I write that here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not such a fan of green sauce. Oh, yeah, it, me too. That's why when you said I'll pick a few, I was like, well, I've got to go for the green for sure. So, well, you know what? It's, it's, I think most people think, I'll bet you you too, most people think that green stuff at home or melting our face off all the time. Yeah, no, My go to sauces are usually mild to medium sauces. Absolutely. Now, that said, though, I really, really love the green sauce. This is not wanting to cooperate. This is the hassle, the, the <laughs> risk of working without a net live television. <laughs> all right, here we go. So let's do an aroma. We'll smell it first and mm -hmm. see what the aroma is like. Yeah, wow, the fresh green, you get that fresh green pepper aroma uh, with the garlic and the onion. That it has that fresh. You know, that it makes fresh my mouth smell, water. Right? Oh, it makes good. my mouth water. <laughs> I wish I could say it that nicely. Let's give this a, a taste test. Here's the pour. I guess this sincy is not too thin, not too thick. It's very nice. Uh, oops. Jeez. <laughs> oh, smell on the spoon. It just comes alive on the spoon. It smells amazing. I think I'd smell the onions a little more on the spoon than I did out of the bottle. Boy, this, the aroma is great. All right, green is the grass. Thank you, Erica. You ready? Thank you, Erica. Here we Perfect. go. Mm. I love the texture of that. Oh my god! Is the texture of that? So that's the first thing I mean was wow, yeah. silky smooth. So beautiful. Um, it has really. a great green flavor, mm. like kind of green pepper flavor. Oh, the tingling on my taste buds, but in right, a really the, nice way. It's not super the hard. The neat thing is the garlic with citrus is mm. really the, the citrus finish. Yeah. Just this would disappear quickly. I, I don't think that would last more than a couple of days. No, right? <laughs> heat wise, where are you at? I, th I would say that for somebody who's not used to heat at all, this would be maybe like a six. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. probably six. Or six, something. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And what was your your scale as what? Three mm -hmm. or four? Um, Two. Maybe five, I'd say. Is it really? Five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, here's a weird thing about the, the queen during these contests. The first and second round, she'll eat pepper, and you look like, oh, poor girl's hurting. And then at the end, round ten, everybody's gone, and there she is, powering through still. Yeah. You oh, say okay. it's a, I think it kind of like I get to a certain level where I sort of just all Go the pain the same. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I have so many people that have watched videos <laughs> and you know, commented that she goes somewhere. Yeah. And it's true. You really kind of yeah. do. I just amazing. feel like you got to go through this pain. Yeah. All right. Let's do uh, 
Yeah. Want to do this one next, or do you want to do? Um, or do you want to go to the tincture? Or do you want to no, let's do this one. All right. This is, uh, this is great. Okay, so this is um, Devon Chili Man sauce. Gibbering smoke. I can't read the label mark. Uh, like gibbering so smoke. Devon's Cape Chili Crusader. Let me show you the label, you guys. This is Chris Hislop. Did I say the last name right? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty cool label, isn't it? All right. So, uh, is this uh, Cliff Hislop? Yep. So, really, really like good friends with me. Johnny's not met him in person, but they're in touch on Facebook and all the groups, and, and you're a bit of a fan. Big time. But um, uh, unfortunately, Cliff um, didn't get to meet Johnny when Johnny was over in London, so now he's like, uh, I just wanted Johnny to try one of the sauces. Unfortunately, started, Johnny didn't get to meet Cl uh, Cl uh, Cl Cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted Johnny to try one of the sauces. Uh, I'm sure this will change when you come to Newcastle. Um, oh, in, for sure. In a couple of weeks' time. Oh, man, we should like take a picture of this and blow it up. Um, Wow, a rich, smoky chipotle sauce made using 20 or 20 hour oak smoked jalapenos for a gibbering, a gibbering idiot chilies. Yeah. That's what it says. Uh, to give it a, a, an extra kick. We are proud to make Devon chili, chili man sauces from our own oven recipes using our own grown chilies. Sorry, I can't see you guys. It's oh, not only small the print, but the, the font they use. Yeah. It looks almost calligraphy. All right, ingredients. Boy, I wish you had your glasses. I'd make no, you No, I wish I did as well. Okay, here are the ingredients. Um, uh, tomatoes, balsamic vinegar. I love balsamic vinegar in sauces. It's oh, no, uh, such a wonderful a, thing. A nice um, chipotle chilies, garlic, onions, apple. Honey, cider vinegar, um, light muscovado, gibbering idiot chilies. He's impressing you with his eyes. Salt, <laughs> various spices. Very good. I was able to read that. All right, the consistency. I'm going to show you the consistency on this. You can kind of see. I really do dig the label. Tell that label is in the, the Cape Crusader. That's cool. All right, so let's give this a. Aroma test first. Wow. Smoky aroma. Smoky garlicky. That's yeah. actually making me hungry. That is so good. I know. So smoky. Every time I smell that, yeah. it really the garlic has... really comes through the smell. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Let's we'll see it's got a savory flavor. Just I love the look of it. All right. See how this thing pours. It's a little thinner than I thought. No problem here. Wow, well, thank you, Cliff. I think I believe this is the first time I've ever opened this bottle, so I'm a fan of the other sauces. First time I'm going to try this. Thank you. I know we'll get a chance to meet at some point. Very excited about trying this. Um, oh, the aroma's great. She tried it. Here we go. I'm going to give this a I'm shot. Mm. Oh, this would be a great steak sauce. Oh, my goodness. This would be so good mm -hmm. on steak. That is such a beautiful flavor. Savory, mm. balanced really well. Soup, they got great smoky flavor. And it's not crazy heat either. Not at all. A really nice sweetness to it though. Not too sweet though. Yeah. Oh, it's balanced perfectly. Hey, you know what? This is a great sauce. And this is one of, if you're one of the people that watch the show but you don't need anything hot, this should be a great one. If you guys are in England, you need to check this out. Devon Chili Man. You know what? At the end of this, after we, we finish processing it, I'll put links for all the people for the stuff that we're reviewing tonight. What do you think on heat on this? I think for somebody who's not used to heat, it might be a five or six. Yeah. You thinking that? So I'm thinking. I'm thinking, yeah, probably. What's it for probably, you? I think maybe four. See, it scares me. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here. It's a one for me. Don't let her fool you. Don't let her fool you. Very, very flavorful. All right. Let's see who we got next. Okay. And so. Um, want, you, want to do this one next? Yeah, why not? All right. This. It's quite special. Yeah. Nick Barnes created this. If you look at it, you'll see an apple yeah. and the pie sign on the apple. Apple pie. Same thing with this. 
This is the tincture, and here we have a powder. Now, they, they were in a contest. They were making products they were for an event where a bunch of great friends were getting together. I was unable to be there, but he got these to me and got some to Shen as well. Really neat. We tried them already, but yeah. wow. I loved it. Yeah. It was really <laughs> like your Christmas time, you know, the flavors, the cinnamon, the apple pie flavor. Oh, my God. When he shared with us a little bit earlier that yeah. on the phone, we were talking to, uh, to Nick, and he said he wanted to make something. He said, what's more American than apple pie? Yeah, absolutely. This the apples, the, 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 the it just sm yeah. it smells like yeah. Christmas. Yeah. There, there should be so, there's so many uses for this just to eat it, just yeah. put on your tongue. It just it. releases endorphins. You feel like but this should be good in you know, like iced tea or in, oh. you know what I mean? Oh my god, iced coffee, ice tea. Or if you just drizzle oh. this on ice cream, I know I keep going cream. to the ice cream, but this should be so good. So, good. so um, to take sure it's beautiful. It's not that hot. You guys can see that I have some in the tube. It's a full drop or full. You know what? Yeah. Ladies first, please. Oh. And that's a full drop. I don't know if you want to do a full well, drop. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll do a full drop. Go on, Shen. Go on, Shen. <laughs> <laughs> Support from Paul. Yeah, I jumped true. out of my skin when you did that. <laughs> Like, where'd you come from? This is why he's famous for go on, Shen, go on, Shen. He can do you know it. What? He's did, quick, he's quick. We did a That's video in London at your, at your house. I was doing it with Maisie. And as you're doing it, you guys are playing with the, ho the water. Yeah. It's hilarious. But right. this stuff is delicious. I mean, he chose the colors all for this reason. Amazing, guys. And the apple pie thing is so clever. Right. I don't think I'm going to have the whole thing. You couple don't, of don't drops. yeah. couple of drops, okay. This is just a part of your mouth, though. It's very, very festive. It's perfect for autumn. Oh. And the heat is very magical. To me, it wasn't that hot. Here's a full dropper. It's just flavor. Flavor hit. <laughs> you might finish the whole bottle. <laughs> you can really taste the apple and the oh. spice. It's just tastes so... But you know, and it gives you a warmth, but by now, like there's some tinctures that just melt your face off. No, One drop of this immediate heat. You know what I mean? No. This is so manageable. Uh, this is what I'd imagine like a spiced apple pie to be like. It's, it's yeah. beautifully done. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Paul, we always say a chili head, somebody who's not necessarily chili head. You're not necessarily chili. You want to try a drop and tell us what your heat is? So, you know, my name's The Boot. The right. Boot <laughs> means ghost. All right. So I prefer to be the other side of the camera. You guys are stars. We won't pull it into the camera frame. But try one try off to... camera. Okay, no worries. <laughs> there he is. Boy, oh, my goodness. And for <laughs> a guy who's not a chili, that was like yeah. six or seven drops. Yeah. Now, what do you think of the flavor? Isn't that just an amazing, the spiciness just tastes like autumn. It tastes it's just amazing. <laughs> the nicest taste of adding a tincture because I've only had five. Mm. So, he wise where are you at with that? Um... Honestly, that flavor for a tincture, having tasted quite a few, that one's got a good flavor. Yeah. Very right. Yeah. How Heat high? Wise, yeah. Yeah. A high, isn't it? <laughs> for me, because I, I, you know, I, if I have an ice pop, it's too hot for me. So if this, I think it's probably you're getting like around eight for me. Really? Burning my tongue. Okay. Wow. So he's at an eight, and he's kind of that's a mild one as well. Right. Um. You. What are you at? Like a four. Mm, I'd say five again. Yeah, I mean, it kind of does build up. I know it's supposed to go disappear quite quickly, but I'm feeling it a tiny bit. See, it's still of... like a one for me. Here's the oh, thing. Really? Yeah, here's the thing, though. I go like this. In a contest, I go like this. I'm fine. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm at red line and yeah. I can't go anymore. You do this and you just keep going and going. But, you know, I think like, I don't know what happens to me. Even if I went and had like a half a bottle of Tabasco, I find it hot. You know, right. so my tolerance in my mouth is not great at all. Um, you know, I do feel the pain, I think, pretty much from a very basic sort of sometimes even the jalapeno around. Like, people laugh and think I'm faking it, but I'm not. Jalapenos get me like I've been in competitions from the one round number one, and I'm, I'm wanting to be out. You know, it's crazy. Well, my I'm not good with speed, so to be very honest, I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't get to the speed round for some crazy reason oh, you tap goodness, out, yeah. which I know you won't. But no, they're making the competition really hard this time. So the 10 rounds you're having before the actual speed round is going to really test. Uh, like the first round, four or five pause for the very yeah. first round. Some crazy stuff. This is the powder form, essentially, of the same thing. I already had some of this, and this stuff is just, ugh. That'd be amazing and sprinkle them on it. No, you go. Yes, yeah, sprinkling yeah. this on, on apple pie itself or on ice cream 
or just putting a lot of it on a spoon and just kind of eating it because it is amazing. Yeah. Oh. Well, cheers. <laughs> that to me is like candy. I mean, literally like candy. Like that should be like, oh. you know, a powdered donuts. That yeah. should be what's on the outside of every powdered donut. Oh, my goodness. Man, is that tasty. I love it. That's so tasty. Heat wise? Similar to the uh, the tincture? Um, a bit less, I think, from yeah. the tincture, but I'd say maybe three for me. But even, you know, I would just sprinkle this on ice cream. Yeah. Just eat ice, like vanilla ice cream or some of this. Oh, time. you know when you have like frothy coffee and then you have the whipped cream and this on top of that? Or oh, eggnog uh, latte or something something like that. Oh, I'm going to grind guy just take ice cream. She foofies it up. <laughs> you know, but that would be amazing. All right, so let's, uh, we got next. We have, um, oh. we want to do. Oh, so. Let's do that. So, yeah. Um, so these guys, you met them, Chili Project, Rick yeah. and Laura Saunders. You guys are great. It was really cool meeting you. Um, you guys are very, very kind. You got me a bunch of sauces that I wasn't able to take back. Fortunately, they are here now, and this is one of them. So this is like the. Um, this is their grizzly garlic chili sauce. I was looking at the the writing. I was gonna try to pawn it off on you and make you read it, but um, here's grizzly garlic chili sauce. There's the label. Got a big grizzly bear on the label. I did. They do an amazing range. Yeah, they're very cool people too. And they're really neat. Everything. Yeah, they were so kind. They came to watch us uh, for a match and brought us both of us hampers full of presents. And this is one of my favorite sauces. I have tried it before. It's, um, I finished a couple of bottles already, but I really wanted Johnny to try it today. So we're going right. to try it again today. This is interesting. Listen to this, guys. It's a bearable, smoky, roasted garlic and ginger chili sauce. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah. Right there. You can stop right there. That's a White, bearable, smoky, roasted garlic and ginger chili sauce with a depth of flavors to get you licking your paws. Yeah. <sighs> made with our own bare hands. B -A -B -E -A -R, <laughs> They're so made. funny. I, I and love bearable is B-E-A-R. So, um, <laughs> let's see what it says for ingredients. And there'll be, again, there'll be links in the description box. For one. The ingredients are sugar, onions. You know what? I have to be honest. It's the first time I've ever seen a, a hot sauce with a noodle. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that yeah. before. All right. So sugar is the first thing. Done. Onion, red wine vinegar. Garlic, tomato water. I tasted this when we were there. Oh, uh, you remember now? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Ginger, salt, naga chilies, two percent, smoked paprika. I do remember this. Uh, All right, uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy now. All right, here's the. I don't know if you can see the consistency. Oh, see so the chili bit. project. Find these guys. They're incredible. Yeah, they're, they're so very nice. cool. They have so many products. They're incredible. Really, really nice. Yeah, boy, you know what? You can remember this. I, I, I don't think you forget, of course. And, uh, what a savory, amazing, smoky, garlicky ar aroma. Oh, <sighs> it's just so Thank savory. You. My mouth is I'm feeling light. hungry. <laughs> oh, let's just eat sauce all right. Yeah. All right, so here's the pour. I'm going to pass this over to the queen. Beautiful color. I totally remember. I'm having flashbacks. I remember this. This is incredible. Oh, it has such a savory, tangy aroma. Oh, I can tell you right now, this is one of those sauces I, you could just drink. Oh, I love this. I've tried it before. I could actually drink this whole thing up. It's too good. Wow. I have to have a little more. The sweetness to it is yeah. unusual. There's a wonderful sweetness to it. There needs to be because there's a lot of sugar. But um, it's not, although you have to know though, even though it's the number one ingredient, it's not syrupy sweet at all. Yeah. But you got the onion, the ginger, the garlic. Um, it's so tangy. I love the oh. ginger in it. I can really take that out. It's sweet. Well, this is one of my favorite sauces by them, so I'm a bit biased. <laughs> it's very, if I get a sweetness and the ginger up front, mm. and when it fades, I'm getting more of the savory yeah. kind of the garlic and the onion. Yeah. Just makes you want to put some chicken on the barbecue, don't you? And then just put this all over. This it. is one of those sauces. I review sauces sometimes where I'm reviewing the sauce and I'm immediately thinking, what can I put yeah, this on? Absolutely. Like while I'm talking about it, thinking, all right, what do I have inside where I can yeah, put this on? Dinner sorted. <laughs> this is just so delicious. Yeah, boy, absolutely. oh boy. Home run, you guys. All right. Now we got um, 
Another one from Erica Sites. I've got a little idea. If I want to uh -oh, we got an idea. stick my nose in. But there's a lot of people saying, you know, that you guys can't read really it. <coughs> right. So maybe should we do like, or you guys, if you fancy Question it, a little, little Q&A at the end. Yeah. Let them know so they don't disappear. Yeah. Sure. So or if you see up. any good questions, you can fire them at us. Well, do you know what, Shen? You can read that, or is that a bit distracting yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. So, are you sure? Because I feel bad cutting in. No, don't. I'm the should, boot. I should be. You can read it out to us. Read it out, guys. If anything cool comes up, maybe quick Q and A here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. So we'll keep doing this, and we'll do a Q and A at the end, you guys. This is Mother of Peppers, uh, Dragon's Blood. Erica Sykes, thank you again yeah. for sending that to us. Pretty cool label here too. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> Look at the font. If I have trouble reading it, you guys, give me a bit of a break. I'm old, and the font's <laughs> funny. All right. The name Mother of Peppers was influenced by love for the television, uh, television series Game of Thrones. So that's where this came from. Do you really? Yeah. You yeah. wanted something? I'll probably catch heat from this. Never seen one episode. Oh my god. I couldn't. I can't get. You know. <laughs> People were <who> like, <coughs> it says diehard fans out there. <coughs> They can't believe. They won't be able to believe anyone's. Oh, I have a friend uh, who watches a lot. He said, "Look, there's killing. There's I'm good. You know, there's just you know, castles and dragons yeah. and killing. And what's not to like? Yeah. Oh, it does. Uh, it's good. Many of us were sad to see the show come to an end. Fortunately, this hot sauce can put you on the edge of your seat once again. <laughs> Dragon's Blood offers the finest ingredients, the sweetest of uh, Khaleesi. That's a reference to yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah, she's the dragon lady. There you go. See, I don't know. <laughs> the mother of dragons. Funny so. enough, someone called me that on YouTube. Oh, she was like the mother of dragons. We're being able to eat all those chilies. I'm like, yeah, I'll take uh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, as well as the heat of drag uh, dragon's fire. Uh, best on red meat, pork, or chicken. Refrigerate after opening. This is batch number 88, bottle 21. Oh, man, look. You think that was small? Please get a look. I'm not <laughs> griping, but look how small the – those are the ingredients. All right, be kind, be patient. He's <laughs> thinking better job than me. <laughs> okay, yellow bell peppers, beets, mango, apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, <clears throat> excuse me, onion, lemon, lime, Lemon and lime juice, red wine, red wine, okay, Himalayan salt, garlic, water, Carolina Reapers, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trinidad Scorpions, and Buccalokia, and vanilla. I think we saved the hottest for the last, which is probably a good thing. I, I don't want to be like dying. I think we did. This is interesting. You know, yeah. what an interesting I do love the color as well. Boy, it, it just has that. Yeah, Beautiful, like, almost gemstone quality. Yeah, really does. Looks so silky. And you can't, I know, really, you can't see. It's, it's not like doing it justice. Bread. Well, yeah. it's a great name for it. Yeah, yeah. Dragon's Blood. All right. Yeah. Thanks for providing this, Eric. Erica. This is. Oh, okay. gosh. Yeah, thank you, Erica. That's so kind of you. I like all the other sauces she's used to All right. This is hot. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> it almost has a silky aroma. Oh, the color! I can't believe that. The color is probably from the beans. Yeah, you're right. A little bit of a fruitiness from the mango. It has a doesn't that? Well, the, the, have you ever smelled something that almost smells silky? Does that not have like a silky aroma to it? And I'm just saying, I've um, it's so innocent smelling. <laughs> but now, I, I feel like it's gonna cause me some damage, but it smells amazing. Well, it really does smell good. And definitely silky. Color is beautiful. Beautiful color. Oh, here's the pour. It looks like it's here. It could be one of those oh, sauces that yeah. once it starts, it just pours yeah. out. Beautiful color, though. Wow. Mm -hmm. That color is undoubtedly influenced by the beat. Really nice. Beautiful, though. I smell the peppers more on the spoon than I did when I was in the bottle. Mm. Seriously. Yeah. Tell me if you do. I didn't smell the peppers much at all in the bottle. And I'm really picking them up on the so spoon. Right. Smell that? 
When we first opened the bottle, it was wow. Just, yeah. It's not so benign yeah, anymore, yeah. is it? Not so mild. Yeah. Boy, it smells great. All right, guys. Thank you, Erica. Here we go. Thanks, Erica. Oh wow. Mm. You get the mango, the beet, and that lemon lime, that citrus punch. Oh, the earth and flavors is so there. The beet. Wait. Oh, it's as nice. silky tasting as it looks. But the heat, that's definitely the hottest of them so far. That's the hottest. I'm glad we saved it too. And it's just Brilliant. starting to climb. It's <laughs> it just starting. But I love it. It's so good. I just feel a little bit sort of sweaty here. <laughs> Flavor's but fantastic. Really nice, yeah. um, one thing I'm looking for. Reaper in the boot. The wow. lemon lime is really key to it. I really just feel that. It makes it come together really well. Yeah. Another sip. Another sip. Another taste. Whoops. I'm worried about it. Well, I can't say no. It is tasty. Mm. Every single sauce, though, has been so tasty that we've tried. You know what this would be so good on? Like at Thanksgiving time on turkey. Oh, with yeah. a bit of gravy. Right? Mm. Really, really like the flavor. I um, the heat on that. Absolutely the hotter the hottest one. I would say for a non chili head, this is a bummer. <laughs> this is a bummer. Yeah, you're somebody who doesn't every day anything hot, they would say it's probably an eight. Yeah. Don't you think? Mm. Solid I, seven. Yeah, definitely seven for me. For me seven. So that is probably well, I think it's the hottest one we've had today. For sure. Mm -hmm. No doubt about and it. And it builds. It builds. I can feel it in my tongue now. I'm not getting much on my throat, though. Yeah. Because no, the reaper no, is associated with the throat burn, but it's mostly yeah. in my mouth and my yeah. tongue. Yeah. <laughs> you go, yeah, I'm going to get them next. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we got next. Now, here's what we got next. Yeah. I'm really excited about around. this. So we're keeping this for last. Yeah. Armageddon. Now, in the UK, we got um, Genovese. Right? Yeah, yeah that's much. right. Good dude. Now he supplies uh pods to all the supermarkets oh, and so he does like normal chilies as well, like you know, the jalapenos, the cayennes, and stuff like that. And then he's designed like the hottest pepper being produced in the UK by his farm. So this is pretty cool. I actually went on Good Morning Britain to try this with a couple of presenters on TV and um I think they had a little nibble and they were out of it. Um, I had the whole thing and it did make my eyes tear. Which, and then again um, in, uh, in Sacramento as well. Uh, in Sacramento? Oh, yeah. Good, uh, good day, Sacramento. I had to have one of those uh, live on air. And they do get me. They get me straight away, the pain. I don't think it's the hottest pepper I've ever had, but the pain uh, gets right. me. So my eyes do tear. I got the heartburn like about five minutes after eating and there was a bit of panic and I had to go to Starbucks and get a bit of coffee, iced coffee. Does coffee help? Yeah, it does help me a lot, yeah. Okay, let me give uh, Salva Salvador a little plug. Yeah. My name is Salvatore Salvatore Genovese. Now, I have farmed chilies in the UK since the 80s. Booyah. Yeah. Uh, see, I love, love my chilies. We are very passionate about what we do, and this is evident in every single chili that we produce. This is what it says about this. It's a brand new, totally British. And flipping hot. Yeah. That's what it says. That's pretty American, flipping hot. Yeah. So, um, and I'm not going to make you eat one. No way. Because you know, there are two here. I know. I'm good. I've had that enough times. She's now. pacing herself. Boy, whatever. All right. So, this is the Armageddon pepper. I don't have a Scoville rating on this. What is that? Oh, no, is that mold? Is that mold right there? Let's see. Have the other one just in case. Yeah. I think they rate about one one million, maybe. One million. There's something on the end of that one too. Both of them. Do we have a knife in here? Yeah, we, I think we got more pods. I can get. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, let me cut this open and see if I can eat everything but the wonky part. Be patient, guys. Okay. One second. Oh, it's just on that one spot. We're okay. No, we're not okay. No, look at no, look what's happening on the inside, guys. See Let's that? Try this. You see that? Looks yeah. like a tooth with a cavity. Look at this. Yeah. Oh god. That would be a bummer to you munch on. For a week now, guys, that's place. why I cut peppers open before I eat them. Um, you never know. Let's try this one. Hopefully this one will give us a break. Yeah, that one looks better. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. All right, so this one's doable. 
Here is the inside, and the sh look at the, how wet the wall lines, the wall. Are. See how this is glistening? Those are all oils. All right, so this is the Armageddon uh, flipping hot <laughs> British. Oh, wow. Kind of a fruity aroma. <clears throat> it gets you. The pain gets you. All right, we're going to find out. Yeah. So I'm Charlie Scoble. With the queen, she's gonna sit this one out. This is how this is part of her victory strategy. Her victory <laughs> strategy for Shadow. Beat me down all day. Yeah. 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 Tastes good. Though. Great flavor. Yeah, I, I thought that was a good flavor. No bitterness at all. It goes down really smoothly. Not floral either. <laughs> Warm. <clears throat> it made me cry. <laughs> Did you pull your yours out of a bag like that? No, oh, we had the fresh ones, but uh, these have <clears throat> been in my suitcase for a week before I've seen Johnny, so maybe that's why they've gone a bit. <clears throat> <laughs> I thought now it, it kind of has that ghost pepper burn because it starts slow, like it didn't yeah. taste hot at first. I like that was a great kind of a fruity flavor, no bitterness. Um, no floral aspect to it at all. And after you swallow it, it sort of changes. Yeah. And then the flavor kind of kind of moves into the heat thing. It's um the roof of my the towards the upper part of the back of my throat's burning. Yeah. My tongue is burning. It's like licking the manifold of a lawnmower. That's pretty hot. For me, it's the hub and it came straight away. Like literally, I think about five minutes after I ate. I was feeling it here. Yeah, it's not the highest pepper I've had. Yeah. But it's it's certainly up there. It's definitely it's at least ghost pepper heat. I'd yeah. say it's higher than ghost pepper. I reckon about one million or so for sure. I don't know. What do you think? I, I think it's I don't know. Ghost peppers are on a million, right? Yeah. This is, yeah. It seems a lot warmer yeah. than a ghost pepper. Yeah. It seems like maybe twelve a million two, million three maybe. It'd be easily. It did make my eyes water a lot when I had it and I did panic, and one of the competitions we had about five or six of them, and it does build up. Kind of radiates. My, do one of these, like wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <sighs> kind of hot. Um, yeah, that would be a ten for somebody who's not used to eating. Yeah. I mean, just even if you just see a sliver of it, it'd be yeah. a problem. Yeah. Um, but you know, my scale is probably like a three, my just for scale. that one pod. My scale six. <laughs> Uh, she, she's laughing. She'll be at the end of the contest eating those things like they're just regular like cherry tomatoes. All right, you know what we'll do now? We'll do some question answer. I'm going to sit here and field some of the questions. And well, do you want me to read them out for you? Sure. Why don't you do that? All right, anyone got any questions? <laughs> you guys have any questions? Throw them out. And Paul will read them out to us. And we'll see what we can do. Um, it's Pete, and it's on its way down. Can now the, you know, the funny thing is the bird is moving towards the front of my tongue. Can you ask them to give rising to the top <laughs> together a shout out? Rising to the top together. Listen, can I remember the pictures I showed you of the shirts? Oh, yeah, they're great. You want to create them? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's oh, amazing. Okay. So I've been bragging on you, dude. We've been talking about you. But yeah, he's thank you so much. You. Absolutely. We've so. heard about you today for sure. Thank you so and much. And you saw the t shirts. Hot damn show wanted to know if the Chili Queen got, um, got the package. Thank you so much. That's the first thing I got. Johnny came in, walked in, I can't believe it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Very, very wait. cool. Thank you, Thank Roger. You um, let's see. When are you arriving in Belgium? We will be there on October the 4th. This is Heiko. Oh, Heiko. Oh, hello. Heiko. Heiko's one of the, uh, yeah. You can so, see him. Oh, I've met him in New York. Wait. Oh, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. He's a Canadian sauce maker. He's actually one of the sauce makers being showcased at the uh, live stream that Junior and I are doing on the 28th. Fantastic. Um, I can't wait to meet he's you. He's amazing. But how cool. We were talking earlier about how yeah. small the, the chili world yeah. is. Like here I was with him in New York. Um, he was like, Johnny, are you going to be in Belgium? I'm like, yeah. He goes, I'm a vendor there at the Belgium event. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So that's very cool. We'll see you then. So the Belgium yeah. event is what day? It's on the 5th, which is a Saturday, but we'll get there on the 4th. And we'll, you'll be there for the weekend. We'll just enjoy the atmosphere and enjoy the festival. Yeah, I've never been to Belgium. Yeah. It's pretty That'd exciting. Be really nice. All right, guys. Sorry if I miss anyone. Um, Grant Cunningham, what makes you guys handle such hot peppers? So I suppose it's like either tolerance or just mind over matter going into a farm. Whatever. 
How do you, how would you I don't it? think it's a genetic thing. Yeah. I think anybody can build your tolerance. It's just like that. Um, I, I think, can I answer? I, I think if yeah. I can answer for you, yeah. it's a mind over matter thing. You yeah. just, like, I've had so many people that yeah. commented yeah. and said, I watched her. She goes somewhere. Yeah. She's like, she's like, like, go somewhere else. She's in a ha her happy place. 100% is mine. Because if you think about the, 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 the first yeah. belt match we had, yeah. I'm over here dying. I had rags. I'm blowing <laughs> my nose every five seconds and swallowing peppers two and three times to get them down. And you're just sitting there going, like you're in a trance. And it's just <laughs> unbelievable. You're just like methodical and just power through it. So yeah. with you, is it a case of mind over matter? Mind over matter, but I do feel the pain. Like uh, most of the times, like the tougher competitions, like with you and uh, Justin last weekend, it was crazy. The peppers, about fourth or fifth round, I'm like, oh, just can really feel the pain. And I don't know how I'm going to go on. And I do want to quit. You know, the urge is there. The panic sets in. But it is literally my mind. I think, well, if I can just make it to the end, just force myself, force myself. And you just push through it. And I do feel the pain. I mean, it was a really weird experience sitting there. We to talked you. about that crowd, yeah. the crowd screaming and yeah. yelling, urges you are. Oh, you know? the crowd really helps, absolutely. When people are there shouting your name and stuff. Don't you find really you can go much past them. what you normally do? Absolutely. If I was at home doing these chilies, I'd be like out second or third round. Well, so you ate 51 uh, mm -hmm. Reapers at home, though, behind the camera. In yeah. front of a crowd, you could eat like 205. I know. <laughs> Actually, that, that only worked because I knew everybody was watching me on camera. Right. It was, and my friends were there. If it was just uh, if it was just me sitting on my own in the house, no way, no way I could have done that. No. And the heat on that pepper is gone, so I wouldn't yeah. say I mean, I don't want it anymore. Uh, but it tasted, you know what, for a super hot, it had a really good really taste. Good it, well, here's the problem. You know it's super hot, so you get a lot of like yeah. the chocolate pods. I'm yeah. sure you, you got a bunch uh, oh, with yeah. Dustin. Yeah. They tend to be really floral. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. the part that kills me every time. The yeah. floral, I just want to I want to gag. I think much. you kind of answered this. Chris the chemist. Chris the chemist. Much love from Ohio. Do you guys have a point where he just peaks and it no longer gets worse? I suppose you kind of answered that. Yeah, for me, for me, definitely. I think uh, once I get to super hot, after four or five or six of those, that's it. The pain gets worse, like around here. My ears feel like they don't expand, but my mouth kind of. Peak levels yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I think with me, it, it, it kind of, it's just like you said, yeah. your mouth kind of levels out with the peak. You have the every with every pepper, yeah. you'll feel a little more something yeah. either in your Absolutely, stomach, yeah. in your chest, Absolutely. your throat, your ears. You know what happens to me? It happened a lot at our first meeting. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll have so much capsaicin in my nasal passages oh, God, that when yeah. my eyes water, my tears they burn so much, it's like there's capsaicin in my oh, tears. That sounds awful. But forever, for years now, people say, Well, stop putting your fingers in your eyes. I now nice. listen, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of a pro at this point. Yeah, I don't so, put yeah. my fingers in my eyes. It's so that's the part that probably bothers me. One of the words, I mean, it's kind of a distraction. Yeah. Because it takes my mind off some other things because when your eyes hurt again. I, I, let's put it this way. If I got capsaicin tears like you do, I don't think I could continue. But you get like Naga Claw. Naga Claw. If you haven't seen that before. Thing, the poor Naga girl eats Naga. Is it only happens with Nagas? Uh, mostly only, yeah. Uh, sometimes it's a uh, build up, but yeah. It's like your hands cramp and it's like yeah. this and you can't open. You can't them open. It's like madness. Opposite ends of like the magnets just like stuck It's together. crazy. Yeah. What a strange experience. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, Jeff Blair just said that he uh, wanted to buy a bottle of the Blair's 3 a.m., but he wasn't sure if you ever reviewed it or not, if you tried it. I, I've not. Tr I, I've, I've tried it, but I've never reviewed it for the channel. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I'm not a huge fan of their stuff. Leave it at that. Oh, yeah, okay. I think a lot of it. Are, I don't want to bad mouth them. Didn't you have any Blair's ones? Kind of like a not to me, it's like it's sort of a novelty sauce. Kind of like, like Dave's and Sandy sauce. You buy it to prank people. No, yeah. not a whole lot of people that are buying it over and over again, repeat yeah. buyers. Like the end or the bomb, excuse me, they'll put the bomb that's on the yeah. hot ones. That's you know, you buy that one time thinking it's gonna be great. I want to try it. it's on the hot ones. You try it once and you're like, yeah, I'll put that away. You don't want to ever try it again because it tastes like poison. <laughs> Being honest, really, really trying not sources. to miss anyone out here. <laughs> it's hard to get them all. Appreciate yeah. you doing this. Chris Stinton, <laughs> is there a hot sauce hotter than the pods? I suppose most, quite a few, isn't it? Um, I, 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 what's the difference? Like, when you get a burn, mm -hmm. is it different between like a sauce and a pod? I, mean, I can ask that a lot. Like, let's use a Reaper as an example. A Carolina Reaper, if you ate a, a hot, a good one, a yeah. Carolina Reaper, and then you cooled off, and then on a different day, you took a spoonful mm -hmm. of uh, Fear This, which is a 63% Carolina Reaper sauce. 
Um, I think that the pepper burns more than just one tablespoon of sauce. Yeah. There's more actual capsaicin yeah. oils. It's more concentrated. When you have sauce, even though 63% of that sauce is, is Reaper, yeah. there's a good percentage that's not. Yeah. And that stuff yeah. that's not Reaper is helping to dissipate some of the heat that's Reaper. Absolutely, right? yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, the, so I think there are some sauces. Uh, I, I don't think there's a sauce that's without extract that's going to be hotter than peppers. Yeah, I think you're right. Like Doom. Uh, Doom is uh, made by Hellfire Hot Sauce. It has 6.66 million Scoville extract in it. That's hotter than just about. I mean, that's hotter than most pods, but it's extract. You have you can you can taste it to a degree. Yeah. Um, a gentleman here called Jeff Blair. I think we just had one. Yeah, there's another one. So he's saying, what's the hottest sauce you can buy in the market? Or I'd re I'd rephrase that for you. So what's the hottest sauce you've had? Maybe not an extract one, in your opinion, because they all say, ah, oh, the hottest sauce ever, the hottest sauce yeah. ever. But in your opinion, from trying them both of you, what's the hottest one? Maybe without an extract or with what's an extract. What's the hottest you try? Oh my gosh, without extract, I don't think I've had like anything that I thought was just crazy hot without extract. I think, um, well, I'll help you out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think, like, um, what's the one I love? Is it 10 minute burn? Has that got extract in it? Uh, yeah, that's remember. you always carry it around. Hellfire at least that one. You've got that 10 minute burn down a lot, it's probably playing yeah. around here. So, I think <laughs> the ones that I carry, they usually have extract, but um, yeah, with me, the hottest non. Extra natural sauces or our fiery fool, fear this. Um, oh, Thor's hammer from uh, Thor's hammer from uh, volcanic peppers. Crazy, crazy Tim Bader man. Crazy, crazy hot. I'm gonna have to try that. Yeah, it's like I mean, it's like it's really funny. I, I've shared this a lot on videos, yeah. but when he sent me the when Tim sent me the bottle, yeah. said it was a it was the like before the act, it was in prototype at the time, no label or anything. Mm. And he sent me a letter, it was a handwritten letter, and said, Johnny, before you eat this, I swear to you, there's no extract. Oh, like it was so that hot that you need to almost reassure people there isn't, that you can't, I mean, there's no, it just, yeah. it's just pepper. And it's it's really, so those are the hottest ones yeah. I've ever had. Wow. Uh, there's a lady here, I remember, remember this name, because I remember once you were up all night, literally, mm. live. Live stream somebody. Her name's Sherry. Oh, yeah. Sherry McMillan. Sherry, Sherry, yeah. Sherry yeah. Yeah. So nice. So she yeah. just said, UK Chili Queen, what made you start? What made you, what, you know, how did it all happen for you? This contest. Really, how did you get here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was actually like when I was at university and stuff, I used to carry a hot sauce in my handbag going to restaurants and stuff in the UK. Food was never hot enough. You'd have Tabasco or Kona. So I started carrying this hot sauce and sometimes uh, fresh chilies in my bag. And my friends used to just, um, you know, take the mickey a little bit, have a little laugh about it. So it was like an in-joke. Every time you went out to eat, have you got your hot sauce with you? So uh -huh. it became a joke. And then one of them found out about this chili eating competition happening in Kingston and said, Shane, I'm going to enter you. You know, you've got to go. And well, I did not know what to expect. Never even been in one, never even seen one on TV or any other way. And so I was like, okay, I'll go for it. And at that time, this was in 2012, um, the Reapers weren't even around. So I think the hottest was the ghost or the scorpion or something, that, the Trinidad scorpion that we did. And um, and it was the funniest thing. I didn't know it was all fresh pods after pods and you were not allowed any drinks and took part in it. I was up against firemen and stuff, ended up winning it. And um, that was it. it was I like, went like 70 more. Uh, but it was because of my friends. Even at that time, it was the pain was crazy. But because my friends were watching me from the audience, I'm like, well, now I can't give up. Did you realize that day, hey, I got a skill that I got? There's something unique about me. And the funniest thing is, I didn't even think anything of it. For the next two years, didn't take part in any competitions. Ended up going to another one uh, the next year, two of them. Third one ended up being in a newspaper because they said that there's this lady who's won three times in a row. And now I'm like, well, 72 wins later, I can't believe it. But that's what started me going, being in the newspaper at my third contest. You've got it in your eye, haven't you? The, I think that's the Armageddon. Yeah, yeah, I got Armageddon by left eye. Oh, that's right going to hurt. That's going to hurt. <laughs> it's all right. So, yeah, pretty much from that and then on, like being in the newspaper, people said, well, you should carry on see how many you can get to undefeated. And that's when I started. So 2016 and 17, I did 20, 22 competitions each year. So it's been nuts. This year, I've done two in one day in two different countries within a few hours. So and won both of them. Won both of them. <laughs> but isn't that two different contests in the same day in different countries? One in both of them? I've got Crazy. a quick little question for you. I remember you carrying around the bomb, yeah. right? For like about 10 years ago. You should yeah. carry it around with you. But 
I've since heard that for Johnny, that is like the most disgusting. Like that, thing. I think yeah. it's well, I'm not sure if it's the same same one. The same. Bomb, yeah, the one that, the and, to, yeah, to me, that is just you know, here's the deal. I've had kind of some rough experiences with extracts since I started mm -hmm. the channel, and I have a very sensitive meter. If I can smell the extract, I can pretty much there. promise you I'm going to taste it. Yeah. And if I can taste the extract, I'm not going to like it. Yeah. I think when you use that, extract has its place. You yeah. use it as an additive. Yeah. But you go one step over the line, one drop more than you're supposed to, yeah. than you should. There's no way to know where that line is. Yeah. But one drop over, you can taste yeah. like a mouthful of metal, and it's really awful. Yeah. So. Well, when I say I carry it, I like have a couple of. You're drugs. a savage. You, we know what you mean when you say you carried it. <laughs> I mean, I, I just mix it a bit of mayonnaise or like the sauces and stuff. I don't have it on its own. Right. I couldn't handle it. I, I would, my mind would go. You think um, there are any of those people are buying it? <laughs> they don't know you. They've watched. They've all seen what you do. But through a lot of pain, I think they did see that with their tummy because, like, he was amazing, you know. Like even after the competition, we had so many hot peppers. He just stood up, taking selfies with people, and I'm like, "Give me my chocolate milk!" Oh my god! And I'm like drowning myself, and I couldn't even stand up. I was shaking so much. It took me a bit of time to just stand up and talk to people. You know. You have that what's called the extra gear, called the I'd, I'd rather die than yeah. lose to you gear. I think that's what it is. That it is. To lose, you know? I think women have that gear. I'm not sure if I have it. <laughs> and I, uh, somebody called Casey, she's asked twice, so, so I'll just I'll cut okay. in quickly. You probably get asked this a lot, right? So she wants to know how does she start eating hot stuff? I mean, you got any tips for getting someone on the road? Oh, chasing, how does she start chasing eating? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I would do? Just yeah, the nice thing is this: grocery stores twenty years ago, you have a hard time finding any peppers. Mm -hmm. Nothing but green bell peppers. Yeah. A lot of grocery stores will have habaneros, serrano. Some have ghost peppers. Some even yeah. have reapers. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I would do is start finding a pepper you like. Start with a habanero, uh, excuse me, a jalapeno maybe. Um, and just, you know, start doing it that way. Find out what you like. Like there are certain pods I like a lot, certain ones I don't. But find out stuff you like. Never push yourself too far. You can always eat more, but once you've eaten too much, you're in it. What would your advice be? Yeah, absolutely. I think try some sauces. Just build your sort of tolerance up. Try different peppers because they do all have sort of different textures, different flavors, different heats. And try and see what you think. And you think I like super hot, so I don't at all. And my favorite is like the Thai bird's eye chili that I love. And it's a basic chicken, sort of medium range chili that I love in my food. Um, so you kind of just, yeah, start low and then build it up. See how far you like to push things, I guess. You know? Another nice thing you can do, this is a really cool thing. I was with Tom Broom in the booth, Seriously Hot Pepper booth, oh, at the yeah. I Like It Hot Festival. Mm -hmm. There's a little tray that they sell for people that like guys that are hobbyists or women that do knitting, and it's a clear tray, and you lift it up, and it has a little compartment. You can put needles or nuts and bolts, oh, yeah. and you can close it, right? Well, what he did was he opened, he closed it, and each of the compartments, he drilled like four or five holes. So he puts peppers in them, shuts the top, and takes toothpicks and pokes them through the holes into the pepper. Oh, right. So people can come up and say, I want to try the chocolate bula, and they'll pull out that, and they'll oh. get an idea of what the chocolate bula yeah. tastes like. Yeah. A hint of the heat without yeah. the commitment of eating yeah. it. And I thought that good. was about the most brilliant That's thing I've ever idea. seen. Yeah. And, when, and then you throw the toothpick out, stick yeah. a new one in. And you could go for each time. There's chocolate. There was a reaper. Such a good idea. I know. And that's a great thing you can do. You, you don't have to sit down and eat a whole pod like yeah. I just did. That, you know, for some people, it's a bad idea. Yeah. But you can just take a sliver. And you can look. My dad, you know, Papa Scoville, he's like 82. Yeah. He's had a sliver of some super hots. And that way you can get an idea of the – you're not going to get a full idea of the heat, but you absolutely will get the flavor. And you won't die. <laughs> and you won't die. Lanny Seals. Um, I uh, do you enjoy the hot peppers every day with meals or just challenges? I, I mean, that, I'm not seeing you put um, things like that in your food. If I have peppers, I'll, um, you know, I won't sit down and power through six for just a good time. I yeah. have no challenges, you know what I mean? But yeah. to sit down like, and eat that one pepper, like I just said, that was enjoyable. I like yeah. that. So I really do like super hot. So it's kind of, you know, I think it's an acquired taste, Yeah. Absolutely. you know, but I don't eat them every day. Well, I don't think I'll, um, I've even even ever touched a super hot outside of a contest or eating them on TV, and um, that's it. I'll never have them on a day to day. Like yeah, you, it's you, too much for me. You just answered Sherry's question as well. Yeah, then. Like, it's like the thing legends are made of. She's <laughs> never eaten a super hot apart from a contest or yeah, on TV. I just I get so. Also, they have uh, put a bit of fear in me because I do suffer from the pain. So the thought of having one for pleasure. No, not happening. Not unless I have to. That brings me to the thing. Right before that starts, yeah. 
that feeling, that the yeah. nerves, yeah. all the crowds there, yeah. they just announce you, you're sitting yeah. down in your moments, so you, there's not a thing in the world you can yeah. do to stop this from happening. This is happening. And then you just think, oh and my God. say, ready, hold your pepper right back. Yeah. But you know what though? I, I'm i like so nervous until that first pod. Yeah, yeah, Once I get that first pod, I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I kind of forget about it and I keep going, but. Yeah. I say it'll be pretty cool, right? Because I'm just coming into the chili community because of Shenna. I mean, there's some people here, like if I give you a shout out, you can let people like me know why they're so cool. Because I've seen their names popping up. I know they're respected <laughs> on here. Right. For example, Peppers and Kentucky Living. Oh, shout out good. to you, mate. Thank you. Yep, that's Jeremy Bell. He's Hi, one Jeremy. of my lives and a friend of mine. He has his uh, channel, uh, Peppers and Kentucky Living. Yeah. He, he drove... I was at the like a hot festival. He was mm. in Kentucky. He drove. He and his son Cameron drove ten hours one way to oh, be wow. at that festival we were at in uh -huh. Florida, just wow. to get in his car and drive back. Yeah. So he's a champ. And he's done some great wow. videos. And uh, you're always there as well, encouraging me. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Thank yep. you. Main event Pong. Who, who's that? Ah, uh -huh. enough. Okay, I'm not uh -huh. sure. Enough sure uh -huh. is great. Enough has it. It's his channel, Main Event Pong. Mm. Hilarious, yeah. very, very, very oh, entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. See him in the League of Fire. Yeah, yeah. great dude. Yeah, he's, he's a League of Fire. Oh, yeah, Cuba Terror, Chili Cherry, Terror, 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 Nightmare. The guys are savage. And he's, he's just a good guy. So thank yeah. you for watching that. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Pittsburgh Flip, I know. Oh, well, I, I, I love. Flip. So I kind of got to know him through one of like, because I love my cooking, you know, I do a lot of food stuff. So I put it on these uh, Facebook groups for food, uh, you know, uh, specialists and people who love like sharing recipes. And Flip and I became friends over that. And and then he was talking about hot chilies and someone said, oh, well, Shane and the group eats hot chilies for like <laughs> competitions. And that's how we became friends. And now we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube. He's my moderator on my channel. So supportive and really great? encouraging. And he became your fan. You know, it's one big crazy, family. Yeah, there's a big overlap because the truth is, that your fans are my family, yeah. my family is your family. That's kind of the way it Absolutely. works. Yeah. Hungry for heat. Hello, mate. Hey, Alan. So, Alan. Yeah, Alan. Yeah, yeah, he's got a show, Hungry for Heat. He's just great dude. Savage tolerance, pot eating guy. Oh, wow. He'll eat full pots and the hottest pots and get his everything I've eaten. He's eating. Good dude. Very supportive of the community, too. You I don't like to compete with you. <laughs> right. And also, we're all scared to compete yeah. with you. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to get inside your head on yeah. Saturday. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I have a game plan. Watch. I'm worried. I, I can't even tell you what it's going to be. I'm going to tell you what the game plan is. You want to know what it is? You can't tell me a game plan and then call it a game plan. Or it's a still going to be a game plan. Oh, okay. What Here's my it? game plan. Yeah. You seem to get in, go in your head, and you go somewhere. Yeah. All right? I'm not going to let you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm gonna make, oh, I'm gonna no. Make, I'm going to make you talk back. I'm going to say, how's that pepper taste? I'm going to distract you so you can't find that happy place. Um, that work? Yeah, it might do. It might do because I, I, I do find I can't talk or, or I'm react to I'm going to try to make you talk. <laughs> a little question. You may, have, you, you know what? You may have had this before, so apologies. That's all right. You, if it's one that you know you, you think that you might have covered, just quickly for Court Kramer. Court. Oh yeah, Court's great. Yeah, he just asked to explain floral. And I'm not sure. Too sure either. It's really funny. Every time I say the word floral, somebody will ask a floral pepper. You know that yeah. it's kind of tastes like soapy or perfumey. Yeah, yeah. It's so like it's, uh, it's like friend. Estee Lauder. It's just, yeah, that's like that's pretty strong. I just don't like that. That's the thing that's gonna make me throw up the quickest. I mean, I can have a be like the first pepper, yeah. and if it's a floral pepper, I my body is not wanting to swallow it. I find it repulsive. The one from the composition, I mean, you have so many hot peppers, um, but the chocolate dougla or something, that really got me because it felt almost like it was a dried pepper, but it wasn't, and it was so hot. Oh, well, you know what? In New Zealand, but, there was a dried, a couple yeah, dried pepper rounds. Yeah. Those are so difficult because they're, um, they're hard. Had that in London as well, you get yeah. dried, around a dried wheat or something. Yeah. That was was it right. yeah, yeah. Stephen yeah. Dixon it wasn't one. There were like three or four of them. Wasn't yeah. there a bunch of them? That's uh, Stephen Dixon. You yeah. should Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. Appreciate that. Is, is that more difficult? Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, for sure. Especially if you get it at like seventh or eighth round when your throat's already so dry from all the different peppers. Getting that down you is it's a not huge easy. Challenge. He knew what he was doing. Well, not that. If you think about a pod, 90% of a pod mm. is water weight. So when yeah. you take all that water, all you're left with is plant matter and, yeah. and plus. And, capsaicin yeah. and it's hard to chew and it's hard to get down it just mm. doesn't want to cooperate it's at that point without handing everybody a glass of water yeah. you know, help you out with yeah that. just have well, it <laughs> we were talking earlier that 
the pepper contest I was in in uh, Florida. Was Never a heard of that. So you an know. jalapeno contest. You can drink water. That's crazy. Dustin, thank you so much. <laughs> I love hot sauce and heat food, but I really don't like raw pods taste-wise. <laughs> How the heck do you guys eat multiple pods at once? Um, you know, I don't know. It's sort of a, you know, you just it's kind of, you got to want to do it. Here's what I'm impressed with. We were talking earlier. Anybody can eat pods fast. Not anybody can. It's a hard thing to do. But to be able to eat pods fast after you've gone through nine yeah. rounds of multiple pods, that's that a, a I can't, like, watching you just, like, <laughs> it's a freak show. Yeah. It is. But I'm going to talk to him. We get in your head Saturday. Yeah, no, no. Very first pod. Say, hey, what do you think about that pod, Shannon? Is it okay? Is it floral? What do you think? I'm going to try to get you to talk to me. Yeah. I'm going to try to get you to talk to me. I'm distracted. <laughs> so you can't ever find that happy and place like, and focus on I can it. Just, uh, well, I, by the fourth round, she's like, shut up, Johnny. <laughs> She'll throw something at you. Fubar has asked, when is the rematch? Oh, uh, Fub Fubar. Uh, is uh, it's gonna be what Saturday? Uh, it's Saturday at um uh, twelve o'clock. Noon, yeah. high noon. Like they used to have gunfights in the old west. In Sacramento, at this beautiful place called Cupra's. Uh, um, it's Cupra's Craft House. Craft House. Actually. So if you guys, anybody's around the area, please stop by. It's gonna be fun. I know a few people from the UK too. <laughs> I know are actually driving down for this, so it should be cool. Um, uh, I'm dreading it. <laughs> Listen, you have the wind at your back right now. Yeah. Here's the nice thing. I'm glad I'm rolling into this because I'm the underdog. You just beat you beat me. You beat <laughs> Dustin. <clears throat> you know what I mean? If you had, here's the truth we talked about earlier. If yeah. you had lost to yeah. Dustin, yeah. it would put more pressure on me when we went up head to head. So if you me, lost yeah. to Dustin, then beat me. I'm saying, yeah. I'll just take my pepper and go <laughs> home. But <clears throat> you beating Dustin, not that I mean. Listen, here, you know, there's a competitor inside me. Yeah. The truth is that the chili community is what wins. But at the same time, I don't like losing. Yeah. No, I don't think anybody does. No. You know? And I think with, um, with <coughs> the funny thing, when I went up against Dustin, it was a matter of, like, pride. Like, he is the U.S. sort of biggest chili head. And I'm like, well, I can't let U.K. down, you know. And it was that kind of thing where it was, for me, more personally, like, I wanted to try to win. But this one, obviously, is a legal fire belt on the line, and it's a rematch. So I want to keep winning it. I, I will say, it the UK. I will but say, we'll Matt Tangent, that was putting Shenna in the fiery line there. Because, you know, um, Dustin won a competition in America, yeah. a big competition, very uh -huh. painful. Yeah. And so what did Matt do? He said, right, Shenna, off you go. Take on their number <laughs> one guy. And then, well, that's what happened last week. I, I got to tell you, my jaw was like this. I, was, oh I swear to you, if you got a picture of me watching that, the really? last round, I was like this. It was crazy. Like, I don't understand how people got so into it because, no, well, I think a lot of people did think I wasn't going to do as well. And I, I actually 95% believed that I, I wasn't going to do well. I did, I'll yeah. be really honest with you. I'm not, it's not that I doubt no, you. No, no. He's just broken. He's, he's too afraid. good. He is too and good. I thought, yeah. in fact, didn't you say that you messaged me and you're like, can she beat him? Remember what I said? I said, I don't know. Yeah. yeah no, I, he's, he's, he's just so, I was just so shocked to watch that. And then the whole time watching, thinking, oh, it's me. Makes sense. No, that was, Rocky, that was Rocky IV for me. No. That was Rocky IV, that was. Yeah. With you guys, a bit more like Rocco against Rocky against Apollo Creed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one was like Draco. Yeah, oh, I'm Draco. excited about this one. But I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm, I, I've done some, not a whole lot of practicing, but I've done some speed work. So. Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to be fun. You know, it's the bells, belts on the line. Whether it goes back to the UK or it stays here, we'll see. You guys, you want to just let everyone know who doesn't know who the gentleman known as Nick Barnes is because he's on here. Yeah, Nick is a shout out. amazing dude. Nick Barnes. Nick is the guy who made the apple pie tincture. You know what? I'm going to have a little more of that. Uh, the apple yeah, pie tincture and the powder, which is just so delicious. I wish you guys could all have a drop of this. It is really lovely. Really. Oh. Nick Barnes came to my uh, contest. Uh, in Auburn last weekend, drove for 12 hours, crazy, to support me and Dustin. He's friends, really good friends with both of us, and it was just really nice having him there, supporting us, and, uh, you know, uh, thank you for everything that you've done. You've um, given us so many presents, you're trying so many different things. Thanks so much, Nate. Thank you. Mm. you know Johnny, old, this stuff's going to be gone tonight. You know those little it. powdered, not donuts, but the donut holes, yeah, little balls? bit of that. Those yeah. rolled around in a pile of this stuff? Yeah. Or you know what? You can. This would also be good. 
Cereal, sprinkling on cereal, breakfast yeah. cereal. I said that to um, said uh, 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 Are you said joking it. me? Yeah. No, good that would be on yeah. cornflakes. I don't or know Steve, um, Stephen or Michelle. I don't know if they remember. I said that. Oh, wow, kitchen. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nick, that's that's you, that's how to market this as a to topping to sprinkle on cereal in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Start your day off with this. Are you joking? Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's so. Thank you, Nick. You're amazing. Thank you, Nick. Uh, there's something more here, but I'm getting carried away. <laughs> What age, what age did the queen? Uh, <laughs> the queen. What, what age did the chili queen start eating pods? Rising to the top together. Thank you again, mate. I remember you from earlier on. Um, oh, rising to the top. What age? I mean, from how did? Oh, how when I started. Oh, oh yeah, it was um, just. I think maybe I was like eight or nine. But I'm talking about normal chilies, like just bullet chilies and like just finger chilies that my dad would have with food. But nothing really started me onto really, really hot stuff until I was at uni and we went to my local supermarket. One of my friends just got me their sauce um, by Hot Heads uh, and it was Who Dares Burns. And that was my first ever experience, I think about 19 years old, when I had a really extreme hot sauce and I was in love. And so a couple of drops, even then I didn't know anything about it until I really got into competing and I knew, about the, I started to learn about the chili community. So that's only recent, but I've been eating chili since I was young, but mild. Nothing too hard. She's only gotten crazy in the last half decade or so. Yeah, you just got me. I, I have to ask you a question yeah. of my own. Like favorite chilies each. People want to know favorite uh, chili. Your your desert island chili. Believe it or not, it'd probably be a ghost pepper. Mm-hmm. I just love the taste. Yeah. It's versatile. It t- got a great burn. It yeah. burnt lingers. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't like playing the if you're stuck on an island game. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> I like yellow yellow superots. Like a yellow Murga scorpion tastes yeah. really really good to me. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Um, ahi, uh, lemon is yeah. a few. Some of the, yeah. you know, what's your favorite? Mine is very basic Thai bird's eye or the Indian bullet chili. So, my <laughs> sort of medium, like a bird's eye, of, yeah, that they call that. And that's oh, huge. Johnny Junior's in the house. Sorry, man. Oh, Shout out oh, Johnny hey, Junior. Hey, yeah. Look about you, mate. Yay. Johnny oh, you know. Junior. I'm sitting here with Paul Shahina, the chili queen. I'm um, really gutted that you're coming on Monday and we're going to miss seeing you. Yeah, well, he'll be, he'll be with us in two weeks. Oh, yes. oh gosh, yeah. Okay. So, so he'll be with us in uh, England. So good to see you, Junior. Throw me a call tonight later, dude. All right. <laughs> Name hopefully pronounced correctly. Stango. Stango, if you're listening. Uh-huh. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Johnny, do you prefer USA or UK sauces? That's a, oh. that's a horrible one. Uh, <laughs> I know it's really funny. Let me tell you something really funny. Every country is different how they yeah. have their sauce made. The, going to Manila, the Philippines, uh, the, you know, New Zealand, um, Australia, London, everybody has a different kind of angle. Mm. Um, I love, I really have a love for the pickles, uh, the pickles that you have in the um, UK. Oh God, Mr. Yeah. Vicky's, yeah. everything he got, it's everything he makes so is good. just amazing. But I like like Stephen Dixon, um, Flavor Before Fire, all those sauces. I think I really, really like a lot. So I really dig them a lot. I couldn't put – if you said one country for an island, for, you know, I'd have a hard time picking what country. Yeah. Stan Go did want your opinion too, Chili Queen. I, I would have to agree. Like um, I like them both. You know, I can't say one's better and one's better than the other. They're both just as good. I think what's amazing about where you live is the most vibrant chili community. You guys, you can't imagine every single weekend there's a chili, there's a, yeah. a festival with a chili contest. It's a huge every thing single now. weekend huge from, thing in the UK. from about May to September, right? Pretty much, yeah. It's That's brilliant. insane, and it's so nice to be there because it, yeah. they're like, I can't. That crowd when we met was just like. Just, I think they're the biggest. The parking lot. I've never seen anything like yeah. that. You couldn't yeah. like. You couldn't put a bicycle yeah, in there. It's so bad. Johnny Jr. says he's taking your belt. Ah. Yeah, whatever. Hey, happens, Johnny Jr., let me ask. Yeah, first yeah. of all, you're not. Uh, <laughs> you got ways to go, but I'll help you get there. Here's a question for you. I was approached by the guys from Belgium. Johnny Jr. and they said, "Do you think Johnny Jr. is going to want to be in the pepper contest?" Oh, I heard about this. I didn't yeah. want to commit you to it. There are some. It's going to start with mild pods and go to super hots. It's not. It's the you know, it's like baptism by fire. <laughs> yeah, he's in hundred percent. All right. Ed, oh Ed, wow, you didn't Ed, even have to convince him. Ed Bad deserves a shout out because this is just the truth. Ed Bad is great. Good to see you, oh, Ed Bad. Yeah. 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 Uh, he just said, you guys are more exciting than Thursday night football level, you guys. It's probably true, but not soccer. Uh, Soccer's a little bit better. <laughs> you know what? I, I love watching cricket on TV. 
Oh, my oh, dad man. did it. Oh, my dad did it. It's the strangest yeah. game in the world. If you don't know what the rules are, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. The minute you learn the rules, it's like yeah. fascinating. Yeah. It is like the test match is like chess, but the one yeah. day, that's a bit more like a baseball then. So yeah. start with a one day and then move along. <laughs> Try chasing the heat, chase the cricket. <laughs> start with one day and move up to the <laughs> test matches. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I don't, really, I don't want to lose anyone here. So many nice people here. Long Dog's really sweet to you guys. Long Dog's great. Good friend of the channel. No, that's nice. Um, here's some shout outs. Um, Mojo Moto. Mojo Moto. Moto. This is for Johnny Jr. Even though yeah. he's not here, he is here. Um, can you handle the heat like your dad, or are you nearly there, mate? I don't know if you want to well, type that to us, or Johnny, you might be able to. Help he's us. definitely my son. There's no two ways about it. He, uh, I mean, he likes, he likes it. He's eating Reapers. He's eating, wow. you know, ghost peppers. He brought, <laughs> Madman brought a tube of terror to school. You're lucky he didn't go to jail for that. Oh Passing out peanuts to people in, in no school. Way. They were sick in the bathroom. Oh, my God. That's me. So, but he's got, you know, when I said, hey, you want to jump out of an airplane in New Zealand and eat a pepper? Before I was done with the sentence, he said yes. Yeah, and he's kind of, he's there's a lot of me and him. Yeah, that's good, too. That's cool. Well, look, I kind of got to the bottom here. Mm -hmm. If I go back up to the top. No, here's what we should, should do. We've been out for quite a while. We've been out for what, how long? Oh, over an hour. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap this thing up. We're going to hang out a little bit, and uh, we're going to be uh, meeting up in so, Sacramento. Yeah, next time High we meet, we're going to be competing. It's going to be quite a battle. You guys are great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If I, The last video um, on the bottom on one side of the other is a link to her, the UK Chili Queen, her YouTube channel. Please do me a favor. Click on that. Thank you. Show her child. She's amazing to watch. She's oh. a freak of nature. <laughs> and she's fun to watch. Eat peppers. Thank um, you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Johnny. I want that belt. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be happy either way. I'm worried. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Right between us is a pepper. Click this pepper to become part of the family. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification and we will notify you. But as always, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning thank in. I'm Johnny Scoble. This is The Queen. This was Chase the Heat.